All right, Mr. Zuber, we are here for segment number two, often imitated, never duplicated. And we're going to have some fun with this one because one of the things that this market has created is this FOMO, fear of missing mm -hmm. out this concept. So one of the things I wanted to make sure that we were talking to people about is certainly daily discipline, but also patience. Yeah. Talk, yeah. talk to me about patience in your mind. There's a, there's a couple of things that I just, because again, I've been here before. Right. So the last 18 months or two years, if you're following one rental at a time, you're doing the work, you're like, Michael, I'm exhausted. I, I can't find anything. My market's this, my market's that. It's, I, I, I'm, I'm failing. No, you're not failing. The market's been tough. Right. I told you in 2020, I wrote 100 offers and got nothing. Yeah. Right. I, 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 again, I tell you about what I'm doing all the time on my channel. Right. So what I, what I need you to realize is A, the real estate slowdown that we've been talking about for six months is in full effect. Yep. People will start talking about it in mass early next year. Real estate slowdown means the people that are doing the work, you will start to see deals. Yes. But I want you to have patience, patience and discipline because you will be, you could be like a starving man or woman. And the first deal that comes out could be a little cracker. Yep. And if you're starving, you're going to jump on that cracker oh, like cracker. it's filet melon, filet min, a, whatever, a steak. Mignon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that fancy French word, I can't say, or at least I can't say this morning. I don't know why. Uh, but again, it'll come out as a cracker. And you're going to be, remember, the last 18 months, nothing, 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 cracker. And yeah. you're going to jump on it like it's a steak. Mm -hmm. What I want you to understand is a real estate slowdown. That cracker will eventually be two, three, and then it will be a sandwich. And then it could be, you know, a turkey or, you know, something bigger. Mm -hmm. um, that's what means continue it. Don't jump. Don't rush. I know. I mean, I, again, I say this as someone who was in that moment and I jumped and I took my capital again, folks, I invested the whole way down. Yeah. Right. The whole way down. I jumped on a deal at 165 or 180 that ultimately retraded at 90 grand or something. Right. If I would have waited. Yeah. It's not that I should have waited to 90, but I could have waited like weeks and got that 185 at 175. Right. Right. And I'm not calling for a crash. I'm just saying you're going to find deals. You're going to see a cracker. You're going to be starving. And what I want you to look at is really look at that cracker. Is that a really good cracker or is it kind of stale? Has it been nibbled on by other people? Right. It's just it's 2022, I believe, is going to be amazing for the people that do the work. Yeah. You are going to finally see what a housing slowdown has looked like. You are going to finally meet a motivated seller. Motivated sellers have been impossible to find the last two years because right. you just throw it up and you get 75 offers. That's it right. is coming. It is going to be glorious. It's not going to be a crash. It's not going to be like 2010. Don't take my examples of price declines as examples. I'm just saying, when you find your first deal, I want you to ask yourself, is this a cracker or is this a sandwich? Yep. Um, because it's 2022 is going to be an amazing year. I, I firmly believe that. So as I've been watching my market daily, as you and I tend to do. Yes. I agree. Um, but what I've really seen over the last 60 days is I started to see, and I don't chart it because mm -hmm. I can look at a deal and I know right away if it's a deal, right? Yeah. You've got, you've, you've built that. We're, we're dialed in, right? Mm -hmm. We're dialed in. However, what I have seen is deals that used to be tens. 10s and 11 percent. Now those are 14s and 15s. Happening. And you're now seeing the great deal dip into the 20s. Nice. Dip into the 20s. And so that's what I've seen in the last 60, 90 days. And Mike, we were talking about this all summer long. We're going to see a slowdown. We're going to see inventory hitting the market. We are going, and inventory still at an all time low, but we're still seeing an inventory hit that is better value priced than what it was this summer. We're seeing yeah. better value. Yeah, yeah. What I, gotta, what I gotta tell people is, people don't get it sometimes. I can show you the path to a better financial future. I can show you the path to buy, building a real estate portfolio, but you have to do the work. That's right. What you just said there, you know, was 10s, then 14s, and now 20s. Um, people are gonna hear that and go, oh my God, a deal is everywhere. No, mm -mm. no. Nope. You need to spend 60 days learning your damn market. Go get a buy box. Look at the buy box every day yep. and learn your freaking market. Don't take the lumberjacks experience mm -hmm. for granted. Right. He invested repeated agnosium getting yeah. here. 
If you don't know your market, you should not write an offer. You're gambling. Yes. I've done the math, Mike, and I have about 4,000 hours mm. invested in my market. Yeah. 4,000 I mean, hours, just reviewing deals. Yeah, no, not I get any it. of the construction stuff or any of this other stuff. 4,000 hours reviewing the numbers of the market and in the a deals. small footprint. He is not looking yep. at New Hampshire and Massachusetts Oops. Three and, and Three. this and that. Three. Stop it, guys. God darn. Focus in daily discipline. Yeah. Three if you need help with that, buy the course, 100%. get in the Facebook group. Just stop the madness. And oh, by the way, it'll be more expensive January 1st. I'm not going to feel bad. Buy it now. Just stop. Shouldn't feel bad. I, I mean, you're coming up on 90 hours of content in a course for 300 bucks. <laughs> it's pretty nuts. Like, I mean, really? And again, you know, I look at it and I, and I was looking at it because somebody actually asked me the population of all three of my areas combined. Hmm. Um, it's only like 45 or 50,000. I would call that a small market. Yeah. You could dominate. Yeah. And there's, and the crazy thing, Mike, is the, the deviation of expense in one of those towns, you have three bedroom apartments that are 3000 a month. Jeez. In one of, in the, in just the next town next door, I have a three bedroom that's gorgeous that rents for 13 or 14. Do the work. Dude, can oh. you imagine looking at that from California and not realizing the difference? You got to be yeah. in the market. You got to know the market. Right? Well, so Mike, I, so that that's perfect because I was just doing a deal. And in the deal, the per, all the people that had come to look at that deal that, and the one that ended up buying it, all of them were out of state. New York, oh. Connecticut, California. Californians and Massachusetts are, and New Yorkers are buying up real estate in our state uh, because it's cheap. It's not. You it's can go cheaper you, than where they live. Yeah, you go. I mean, I, I live in California. I've spoken to more California investors than yeah. any others, just how it works. Sure. Oh. A, you can go bankrupt buying cheap. And yes. B, it annoys me to know in that you could be so arrogant. Yes. To think that there's not a local or several locals that have kicked that deal a hundred times and realize when I get a California, and I don't know what it is. It could be a New Yorker or Massachusetts, I guess. Yeah. But hey, I just found a deal. It's been on the market 105 days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's um, I'm going to pay list price uh, yeah. because of this or that. I'm like, you don't think everybody and their brother that lives in that town is everybody that 17 times. Everybody. And if, they just <laughs> don't see it the way I do, Mike. Yeah. You don't understand. It costs less than my Tesla. Yeah. When does that make it a deal? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, what is what is when does the cost of something make it a deal? Yeah. I, I, yeah. I've known people lose tens of thousands of dollars buying cheap. And then, oh, but the worst part, not coming back. There's a story in my 15 conversations about real estate investors or real estate millionaires about somebody who bought cheap and lost a decade because they did it wrong. Yeah. Can you imagine losing a decade? Oh, Mike, like Woo! if I look at if I had lost the last 10 years, I wouldn't be looking at retiring anytime soon. I'd yeah, that, well that 45, my, whatever 45, it is. 45, 6, 14 would not be a thing. Yeah, that would be a, yeah, that's like not happening. Would not be a thing. So yeah, the other interesting thing too, Mike, and, and I'm sure that there's probably people migrating to Fresno from other mm -hmm. parts of California. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Right? It's, Getting it's further the, away from the cities, the, no big, the big cities. Mm -hmm. But I think what's really interesting about that is the, a house that just sold, that just sold for uh, just under 900K, mm -hmm. I talked to the broker and I said, where were all the people, like, where were the people coming from that looked at this house? Was there any locals like yeah. looking to move? It's like nothing. Every single person that looked at that property, out of state. Yeah. Every single one. Yeah. Fresno is, uh, Fresno is getting unaffordable for the locals and it's because they're getting migration from LA and the Bay area. Now, again, Bay just for example, like two, two hours, two and a half, two and a half. half. Okay. But it's like easy freeway. It's like one hundred one, one fifty two, ninety nine. 99. It's, it's an easy drive. Yeah. Um, but and again, LA. if you don't have to, if you don't have to go to the office, oh, LA is get on the five, you're there. It's simple. 
two hours i don't i don't oh, know no, it's probably three and a half probably. okay all right yeah, probably three and a half but again if you're working from home you can buy a lakefront house and this is a house i'm looking at lakefront house uh f- almost five thousand square feet built in the late 90s gated community there's like 75 homes in it so ultra exclusive wow. for 1.4 million wow i'm speaking to you from a condo that's 1300 square feet tri-level uh that is more than that it's just stupid it's dumb it's retarded it's crazy welcome to the bay area <laughs> yeah oh by the way yes i am a mile and a half from google and you know all that stuff so wow great well and that's obviously going to be what always i mean the yeah. nice thing for you is that's what your property is always going to be worth a crazy amount of money yeah i mean literally there's like 17 people that are around here that ride their bikes to the google campus so yeah we, we're googlers as they call themselves <laughs> you'd be a noogler i mean yeah i'd be like i'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad i bought a 99 guy <laughs> yeah, yeah. true story all right so like like we always talk about guys we always spend a ton of time bringing great content to you we think this is really super important daily discipline doing the work but being patient patience and if you need help join the facebook group that comes with the course it's amazing people doing deals but also going i love i love the post that says i wrote an offer and I backed out because I got above my number. Those are the favorite posts for me. My number was 312. It got to 320. I backed out because there will be another deal. That's Don't right. jump on the cracker. Be patient. Yeah. Know your numbers. Yeah. And again, Mike, I mean, even if, you know, for me, even for, you know, how we invest, we said no to a couple deals probably 60 days ago that were in the high teams. They were good deals based on what we were seeing. We're just like, yeah, but we're seeing a trend. We see that it's getting wider. We see that yeah. there's more return. We close everything we've closed in the last five months has been 20% or greater. Damn. So awesome. yeah, I mean, and there's the inefficiencies there. The market is shifting. There are some inefficiencies there and there are opportunities where people are trying to get out and capitalize. So as I always say, we spend a ton of time creating great content. Give us a thumbs up, give us a subscribe, check us out on our Facebook group, the three amigos of FI financial independence. And uh, Mike, thanks so much. Look forward to segment number three. Mm -hmm.